Hey guys, today I want to be showing you guys how to make the perfect Discord server header to make your server look beautiful and more tractable. Let's get right into it. Firstly, you're going to go to the, down below in the description and you want to go to this website www.photop.com. It's going to be down below in the description. I labeled it so you guys can click it easier. And then you want to click the second link in the description, which is the font where you can get some cool fonts. Uh, find one that picks your, picks your type of uh, server like mine. I use uh, Hevitas and I'm not sure how to say it, but I'm just going to assume it's Hevitas. I also have a download link for a template that you can use as well. You can change the color, you can change the border, all that. And then you can also get the font that I'm using as well from here. So you want to go here and then you want to uh, go to the third link, which is the banner template YouTube. Then you want to download that and then there you go there is it we're going to go to our files find the file that you were looking for and then you want to click from open from computer so you're going to find where that banner template is which should be is right here banner template youtube one or just the regular one right here open it and then it should look like this then you have you can put the logo here then your text here we're going to customize it just a little bit and also we're gonna I'm also not gonna put a logo here but if you already have a logo you can put it right here and I'll show you how to make it as a logo so you want to close your file explorer then you should have this go to the font to find a font you like um, you can go use right here Havitas you can download my font if you would like to once you download the font you're gonna want to go to the text right here to the left side of the screen go to Havitas load font scroll down then you should see a zip file right here for Havitas you, all you want to do is just double click it and then it should open the font it's going to pop up with a license on the top right here just close it and then it should be good double click it so it so, so it should look like this once you click on it just go to Hevitas load font Hevitas then it's going to load it's going to take a second it's going to wait a second then it should pop up with a license up here right there so this is the license don't worry about it just exit out and then double click again and there's your text also if you would like to use another font just do the same thing I did with Havitas so first we're gonna customize our banner a little bit so the banner should be shape one you want to go to blending options color overlay and then you can change the color we're gonna change it to a little bit of a greenish color not too green though and we don't want it too bright so maybe around here we can have a green color because my uh, Discord server that I'm going to be making for, th for the tutorials and everything is going to be Pepe World. So right now we don't have a logo. So this is just a channel. Uh, also, I'm going to have a video on on a, a server that you can use as a template. I'm going to have another video like that so you guys don't worry. I'm just going to be doing this first for people that already have a server. So I'm going to do OK. There you go. You can also have an option to do a gradient overlay. You turn off the color overlay. Do gradient overlay. And you can change the color to the greenish right here. And then on this side, you can change it to the other, a little brighter green. Just delete the one in the middle if it, or if there is one and delete the other one. So it should be green and green on each side. Then you can move it. So I'm going to leave it kind of like here. I'm going to change the brighter color a little bit, a little bit too bright for my liking. So it should be a little bit of the same, just a little bit of a shade. You can probably kind of see it. There you go. All right, so then now we got that background. So now we're going to have the text here. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, rules. We're going to do rules. Ah, okay, so we're going to do rules. If it's too small, you can obviously always make it bigger. It's not going to affect anything. So you're going to have rules. And then you're also going to have a logo here, which you can go here. It should say logo here. Just delete that and then delete the shape. Then just put your thing here and then put the logo here. I'm just going to have an example of a logo real quick. I know that doesn't match, but uh, this is what is this is an example of what it should look like with the regular logo. I like to have my logo a little bit outside of the banner to make it look like it's 3D, kind of like outside of the border, a little bit of drop shadow. So it should look simple like this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, with the logo, just if you already have a logo, put it here. Think what matches with the color. Think what matches with the font. If you already have, a, if you have like a simple font on your um, logo, I recommend just using that font. And putting the thing here so it kind of matches with the, with the color scheme. I'm going to put it, my shape back where it was before. Where it 
got which was a simple color, which is going to be this orange color. It's a little bit of a brighter orange, like right there. So this is what my server currently has, or my main server, which you guys should check out down below in the description. This is what it literally looks like, what my my banners look like. So announcements, rules. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give an example. So I'm gonna pretend like this is your final uh, work. You can change. Oh, so sorry. You can also change the border if you like. Go to stroke. You can change it to black if you want you can change it to white you can change it to whatever color you like just make sure it has a cool color scheme to your liking i personally like white border and color in the middle so if you're done and this is your final product just go to file export as png name it whatever you like i'm just going to call it uh youtube banner click save and then it's going to should be up here or it should be down here if you're on google chrome i'm going to click show file and then we're going to go to Discord, which I'm going to have my Pepe World Discord server, which is for the tutorials. In the rules, I'm going to add the banner right here. Click enter. There you go. It should look like this. And then I'm going to go to my Discord server and just grab these rules. I, I mean, it's my own Discord server, so I'm going to use it. So I'll put it here. So it should just look simple like that. Very simple. And then you can just uh, get rid of the updated then i'm going to have the at here rule so there you go very simple as that so this is what it should look like your rules and then up here and now you can use and you can do this for everything so for about us for role information for giveaways giveaway info self promo you can do whatever you want for these headers you can also use it for staff chat if you like but i don't really use it because there's no point so yeah simple tutorial on how to make a simple uh, server header and uh, i will see you guys in the next video peace